Welcome, my name is Rosh, and in this video, we're talking about how to upgrade and install the new Google Analytics. Analytics 4, G4, how do you do this? What should you be concerned about? What is the best method to update or install Google Analytics 4? Well, this is an old blog account that I thought I would upgrade as a demonstration. And so I'm inside my Google Analytics for this account. And what you do is you go down to admin. And when you get to admin, you'll see the option to upgrade to Google Analytics 4. You have a few choices here. Now, one thing this is going to do if you decide to update, it will create a new property for you. So you'll have two analytics for the same website. And the question is, is that a good thing? Well, I'll get into that in a moment. If you're installing for the first time, just install as shown. To upgrade, you need to click on the Upgrade button and get started. Create a new property. Here is where you add your tag installation for both your website or your app. If you are running an app, you'll want to know how to do Google Tag installation related to Firebase, which is actually connected to the new Google Analytics. There are a number of advanced features that you can consider. You might want to be sure to link your Google Ads, which you can do right here. Just click on this arrow. You can define new audiences, which this new analytics is very good for with the additional data. So you would define and create new audiences here for your remarketing. And of course you can set up conversions, which is very powerful, especially if you're trying to achieve specific goals and refine these conversions. You can add management users. So if you have multiple people who need to read your Google Analytics, you can set that up here. From this point, you'll have to install new code to your website. First is the tag installation section for your website. For your website, click on web, click on answers journal. You can add the new code to Google Tag Manager or directly into the header of your website. You also have the option to use the existing on-page tag. However, I would recommend you start off fresh. Click here for your new tag. You'll notice that it has a different number related to it copy the tag, and then head over to the website. Now there are applications that will allow you to automatically add analytics to your website. Many of them in the early days have not been set up properly, so if you want to get in on the new Google Analytics for early, I would recommend you would manually put the new code snippet into the header of your website. And you can use a number of header footer. Look in your plugin section if you're using WordPress or whatever system you use. Put the new code in the header. So what I'm going to do here is click Add New. And as you can see, here's the old analytics. I will title it Analytics 4. Put it in the header. All devices, active, and of course site-wide. and then I will save. As you can see, I now have two analytics. I have the old analytics and the new analytics. I am keeping both analytics. You can do this. You can keep both analytics. They're different scripts that don't interfere with each other. As you can see in the tag manager for my personal blog, I have both analytics set up. Both scripts are in this one tag and it's working just fine. Now, some may recommend that you use two tags. That's fine too if you are concerned. Back to the WordPress website. As I said, I'm going to keep both analytics. The reason is Google Analytics 4 is designed much differently, has a lot more data, and I'm not 100% confident in being able to read it or that it is working properly at this point in time. A few months, maybe six months or a year down the road, when all the bugs are worked out, that's fine. But I, I trust the old analytics, so I want to have access to both of them. And if you look, you can see that both analytics are listed 
in my Google Analytics account. So I have access to both. I want my analytics to be uninterrupted because I like to compare year over year growth on many of my blogs and websites. And if these new analytics start fresh, I can't do that. So I like to keep the old analytics for comparison needs for both myself and clients. I would recommend you go over to your new analytics, click on home, then go to the web property and make sure and make sure the new analytics is registering the new activity. And there it is. As you can see, the new analytics is set up similar, but it's not exactly the same. And there's a lot to learn here. If you want to learn more about the new Google Analytics, be sure to subscribe as I upload new videos to help us understand how to take advantage of all the new information that Google is now offering us with G4, Google 4 Analytics.